Today, I'm going to explain how to implement trending into Visu Plus Express. Right now, I have a blank page open. I haven't started a project. It's all blank. And we're going to go ahead and start a new project so I can show how to add trend screens via the wizard. So we'll come over here in our Project Explorer. At the bottom, we see Commands, and we're going to click on New Project. It's going to open the Project Wizard. First, we can give it a name. I'm just going to call it Trend Demo 1. We're going to choose our CE platform. I personally am using a 3070 7 inch, but it is completely dependent on what you are using for what you would choose. So we're going to go to our next screen, which is the important one. On this screen, it's going to default to adding four basic screens and nothing else. What we need to do is make sure that we come down here and add trend screens. We only need one, which is fine, and we can go ahead and define the screen names, and we can just call it trending. And we want a real-time trend. So we're going to confirm and exit. So now, along with the default basic screens, we're going to have a trend screen added. So we can hit next, our screen de design options can stay the way they are, and we're going to hit finish. So the program has now created a project over here, and what we can do right here near the bottom is we can expand the screens, and we can click on our trending screen. <clears throat> and here you see a trend screen. The program automatically gives us the trending, and we just have to put in what we would like. So to start off, we're going to make this a little bit smaller to make some more space on the screen. Make it a little bit taller, but not as long. So our first step is going to be to add two vertical sliders. So we come over to the toolbox, we can minimize this to clean it up, down to sliders, gauges, and meters. I'm going to put in one vertical slider by dragging and dropping it. Back to the toolbox, back to the vertical slider, and I'm going to drag and drop a second one right under it. Our application for what this could be is a water tank and one of these sliders is representing the water level and one is representing the water temperature. And we want to see the trending on how that is constantly changing throughout the day, week, hour, minute, however long we want to be trending for. So the two vertical sliders are in there. So our first step is going to be to add some variables to these two sliders. So we're going to do that in the Project Explorer window. About halfway down we see real time DB. We right click there and hit new variable and our first one we're going to call water level <clears throat> hit OK and you see now real time DB has expanded we now have a variables category and our water level variable is right there so we're going to drag that over to our first slider and drop it in there and then we're going to add a second variable same way real time DB right click to new variable and this one we're going to call water temperature. We hit OK. And now in the same spot under variables, we now have our water temperature there also. So we're going to click and drag that down into our second slider. So now we have our two sliders with our two variables. So our next step <clears throat> is going to be to create a data logger to log our data that the trend is going to show. So above real time DB, we see data logger recipes. If we right click on that, we can hit add new data logger. Once we do that, it will create a new data logger right under it, and we can click and move our mouse away and rename that tank log. Hit enter, and we now have our new logger. So our next step is going to be to get our variables for te <coughs> excuse me, get our variables for temperature and level into our tank log. So all we do is grab our variables from down here, drag them up, and drop them into our tank log. So now we have dragged and dropped both our temperature and level. And now to get our log along with our variables into the trending screen, we're going to drag the entire log into the trending screen and drop it. It's asking us if we want to clean all the current trend pens, and yes we do, so we have just ours in there. And now you see that we have our trend in here. The problem is though, it defaults to very small, hard to see lines. So we're going to edit that to make them bigger and a little bit easier to see. So if we just double click here on the trender, we're going to come in here to a bunch of options that we can change things. We're going to start under style, and then you're going to see edit pens, and our three dots options here where we can go in and edit our pens. 
So we're going to click on that option and it's going to bring in our pen um, options here. So first we're going to click on the water level and we're going to hit edit and we can now come here and scroll down and our pen color will change drop down arrow to a nice visible red and then pen size will take that from one and bump it up to a nice thick five. We hit OK, drop down to our water temperature variable, edit, come down to the, to the pen color, drop down arrow, we'll make that a real nice visible green and then again change our pen size from one and we'll bump that up to a thicker more visible five. So we hit OK, we hit OK one more time and you can see now in our trend screen how much easier that is to see now that we have different colors and thicker pen sizes. So now what we're going to do is set up how we want to actually trend. And how we're going to do that is to, we're going to go into our execution tab within our properties which is going to be down here just a little bit. And right now it is set to record every five seconds and update the trend every four seconds with a time frame of 10 minutes. We want to change that so we have a little bit more real-time data. So first we're going to change our record every five seconds to one second and we're going to change our update trends from every four seconds to every one second and our time frame instead of 10 minutes we're going to change that to one minute. So now that we have that adjusted, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to go in here up to the top at our green check mark and apply our changes and then we're going to come over here to the project explorer under our actual data logger to our tank log and we're going to double click on that to bring up our tank log properties and now we need to make our second frequency match the one second that we just made it's currently at five so we're going to highlight that and change it to a one lastly we have our data max age down here right now it's at seven days and we're going to move that down to zero days so we don't have any conflicts in our total record. Going up there, move it down to zero days. And once again, up to our check mark and apply our changes. So now if we come in up top and go into our project simulation, save our changes, hit OK, and we can now see the trend is beginning to move. And if we move our slider, you can see the trend being shown as if the water temperature and water level were moving and it was recording it. <clears throat> so that's what it looks like when it's recording every one second. So I'm going to go back into design mode here and we're going to take a look at it recording a little bit quicker. So if we come back in and double click on our trending, right now as I said we have it recording every one second. We're going to change that and go down to zero seconds and change it to 500 milliseconds. We're still going to keep the trend updating every second and view the time frame still every minute or a minute time frame I'm sorry. So we're going to accept that and now we need to come back over to our tank log and once again fix that. Right now we have second frequency at 1 we want to change that to 0 and make the millisecond frequency 500 and we're going to keep our max age at 0 days. Go back up to our check mark and save that and now we're going to go back into simulation mode, save our changes once again, hit OK and now you see as we move our sliders it's recording much quicker and getting a much tighter chain of data than compared to when it was every one second. You can see how much tighter the data is now. So we're going to exit out here so that is simple trending in Visu Plus Express. 